We know that the US really want to make its fleet so damn powerful, but what do you think about its current fleet like Raptor or the Lightning F-35? The push for sixth generation stealth fighters reflects the need to surpass current fifth generation capabilities like the F-35 and F-22, which, despite their advanced stealth, sensors, and AI, face evolving threats requiring next-gen innovation. Sixth-gen fighters aim to integrate breakthrough technologies such as tailless airframe designs for enhanced stealth and agility, hypersonic propulsion for Mach 5 plus speeds, and directed energy weapons for precision strikes. A core argument for sixth-gen development lies in network-centric warfare, enabling seamless data sharing across drones, satellites, and ground systems for real-time decision-making. Unlike upgraded 5th gen jets, new airframes could embed AI driven autonomy, allowing unmanned operations or command of drone swarms. But is the AI drone or anything else really can replace the manned fighter jet? For example, China's 6th gen program emphasizes AI enabled target recognition and hypersonic scramjet engines. The US Air Force's NGAD and Navy's FAXX programs aim to counter such threats with tailored designs, though congressional scrutiny over funding and transparency persists. Critics question whether new airframes are necessary, arguing that fifth-gen upgrades could enhance sensors, computing, and stealth coatings at lower cost. However, renderings from firms like Lockheed Martin suggest revolutionary stealth geometries, eliminating vertical tails and using metamaterials to reduce radar signatures beyond F-35 capabilities. Combined with variable cycle engines for fuel efficiency and thrust, these designs promise survivability in anti-access area denial, A2AD environments. What's another point they want to make it happen? Strategic urgency also drives sixth gen development. As adversaries advance hypersonic and AI technologies, the U.S. risks losing its edge without platforms offering multi-domain integration, air, space, cyber, and suborbital capabilities. The NGAD's potential for manned-unmanned teaming and laser-based defenses could redefine air combat, enabling preemptive strikes and adaptive mission profiles. While challenges like cost $300 million plus per unit for NGAD and technical feasibility remain, Proponents argue 6th gen fighters are vital for future conflicts. These jets would not replace 5th gen aircraft, but complement them, forming a layered force with unmatched versatility. As prototyping accelerates, the focus remains on balancing innovation with pragmatic upgrades to maintain air dominance through the 2040S and beyond.